like Vermont. Yeah, what happens in Smash Bros. Vermont? <laughs> Your PR, that's what happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. but, Mr. E versus Odyssey. Um, we haven't seen these guys play in a while. You'll say, oh my god! A while. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. With Fox's specific gravity and the fact that he's a fast follow, you got. Okay, yeah, but you're going to be, you be dying to spikes really, really early. More so than anybody else, and that's not just because you're fast following, but because of your gravity um, as well. But what a double parry from um, Odyssey earlier. Really, really. Yeah, Odyssey is. He's awesome stuff. And I want to say that this is actually maybe really, like, I want to say this is a very doable matchup for Fox, just because Fox has, like, the mobility and movement to be able to, like, really get in there. Um, and uh, with Punish Mr. E, but I missed how he killed him just now. Uh, I believe it was an F smash. I could be wrong. So smart of him to delay his recovery there um, by angling it towards the stage and not completely at the ledge because, you know, it just it just put him out of space of Mr. E's spike. Yeah. And Mr. E tried to get that ledge from, but gets to parry up B, so taking early. Adi's dock. I yeah. can't help but suspect that that was maybe suboptimal DI because that was It was very probably early. a bit suboptimal, but also remember, um, Town and City does have one of the shorter blast zones. Yes. Very true. Not totally sure what Odyssey was looking for with that F smash. Mr. E really kept... Oh. oh. Saw that little jab right there? He was looking for the jab block. He was... He, he was, was just, like, I I'm coming for your soul. Yep. Oh my oh. god, such a great you know catch. He was going to drop shield right there. He had the read on the neutral get up. He's just going to do it again. Okay, you can shield that in this game. So now I would have expected Lucina, like especially Fox is recovering like that, Lucina to just run off and counter. It. Maybe, yeah, I think yeah but counter it doesn't always hit it because sometimes they go through. Yeah. Okay, missing the spike this time. I just again like really saw ledge trapping through Mr. E. He's using the back air to maybe catch a hasty drop in from Odyssey, but so Odyssey not committing to that quite yet. Okay, back air, but that, that was like a weaker hit of it. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to be looking for another back air. Oh my oh, god, he re grab ledge. Yeah. Yes, that is so good from Odyssey. He positioned himself in such a way that if Mr. E pushed in a little bit too much, he's going to get back air. And if he drifted out, he's going to re grab ledge and be t uh, just like hit with a down smash for And what was even smarter, he knew Mr. E up B had a hitbox, so he shielded in preparation for it. Yes, he and shielded and was dropped, able to yeah. get... Oh. Two frames. Mr. E is getting all of these like really early kills at ledge. I honestly needs to find a way to mix up his timing to do it safely. But yeah, yeah when but you Fox are, is like kind of linear, and yeah, it's really hard for him to get up, to, like mix it up. Maybe not as linear as much as it is like punishable and exploitable, okay. especially when you have disjoints. But absolutely. Fox. Right now, jumping into the next game, um, honestly, I want to say that Audi definitely has it if he finds a way to Three, just two, make sure that he's not thrown one, off stage as much go. and just mix up his uh, mix up his disadvantage just a little bit. Yeah, and up the out of shield, uh, Mr. E is doing it strictly because, like, as a show, you can somewhat. Um, but right now. Like both of these players are just dancing around each other's hitboxes, and um, Mr. E is really playing patiently around like Odyssey's shield. Audi has to be really careful not to overextend, or else he's going to get hit with one of those premature up Bs again. Yeah, uh, Mr. E was oh, now getting a two-frame right there. And I don't... Un a lot of people are like thinking this is Smash 4. Yes. Because they're just trying to like dodge Fox's up B, and not trying to shield it all and punish. Mm -hmm. Wow, I mean, like, again, Mystery has a very, very solid lead. Audi is going to be looking for that drop neutral air into up smash. Uh, Mr. E is going to be playing around his shield a lot more. Such a great call out from yeah. Audi. And if you haven't noticed, Odyssey is also using that newly found tech with the footstool. He's been doing it a lot, so he's been getting, if he saw, sees like someone sharking, he'll just try to, like, out, he'll just try to jump off with, the, like, a phantom footstool. Yep. 
and it's like so good, especially when you can't do that. Yeah. One of your worst disadvantages is landing against the Soidy. And with Gimmer in attendance, he's trying to show off. He's trying to do the Gimmer for him. Oh, can't get the parries on everything. Oh, no. Looking just to get anything started, that's going to be the dash attack into the neutral air. They're not able to get much more off of it. Well, I'm just surprised every single time how much knockback Fox takes for that upbeat. Yeah. Oh. Naughty. Getting his little combo starters, but the S match not hitting. Mr. E DIing away. That grab did not reach? No. Are you serious? That's Fox, man. He got little arms. It's like a T Rex. It's like everybody except like a handful of characters has just abysmal standing grabs. But. Oh. Oh my god. Hyping himself up with those falling aerials. Um, such a great F smash. Just closing out the stock a little bit early. I love that Tomahawk. So good. Especially if your character is a fast faller. Like, you have to be making the most use out of this. And Mystery just losing control mm -hmm. of this set. Yep. Okay, right there. Trying to regain it back. Um, Adi was looking for the illusion into Uppy and once again. Yeah. I don't get that. Mr. E could have definitely punished that. Yeah, but it's not as punishable as you think. I don't remember the frames on it, like on shield it mm -hmm. is, but you can't do it as fast. Yep. But that is going to be the up throw. Right now, this could have been death because That's that is... Oh, oh. Adi did him not get his dash. This is so scary. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't go for the up smash there. Yeah, he he probably wanted it, but got dash attack. That's so, possible. So, yeah. fl so flubs from Adi and the parry oh, no. into the back throw. I love the stall. That was so good yeah. just to throw off Mr. E's timing. But getting back onto stage as Fox oh. put. Great yeah. cross up with the jumps into the back. Here. I love it. And Mr. E definitely wanted that parry again, but drop shield too early this time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Proton, Thanks for the Thanks for the forfeit. cheers. Free the Garfields. What? Oh. Is it because they all have like the Italian hand symbol up and then and then Garfield likes lasagna and lasagna is Italian? Is that is that what Pro Tom meant by Fleet of Garfields? I hate Mondays. Reggie, you are the human epitome of um, Garfield. Of Garfield? I do like lasagna. Look at that. Hate Mondays. You hate you, you really like lasagna. Yeah. And you kinda put anyhow. Um <laughs> Okay. Finish I'm it. just kidding. I'm not, I'm not finishing that. Oh, okay. Uh, but so going into game three, I feel like Odyssey did such an amazing job of mixing up his recovery here. He, like, he wasn't losing his stocks prematurely. And, you know, honestly, like, if he, if he can just play as reserved and, like, tight as he did the last game, this seems like a very doable set for him. Yeah. And taking him to FD... Trying to have no platforms for Adi to shark under. And he doesn't need that with combos like these. So good of him just to jump there instead of putting himself in an unnecessary attack chase scenario. Um, ooh, Mr. E maybe trying to get... No, he was not going for, uh, for a ledge jump there. Yeah, but Adi's sharking with the, up, with the up airs. Adi has to watch these jumps a little bit because this set so far, Mr. E is doing a great job of calling them out. Okay. Still got it. Okay. <laughs> and that back air actually sends at such a nasty angle. Like, yeah, but it's, it's definitely not as strong as it was last game. Mm -hmm. So you can afford to get hit by it just a bit more. Uh, and I thought that was going to be the illusion into up air, but perhaps Mr. E is out of the percentage for it. Okay. And now you see Mr. E like shielding the illusions. So he's definitely caught on to Odyssey's habit of just getting illusioning back on the stage. Yep. And honestly, when you're at a high percent against Fox, shielding is so important because everything that Fox can do to you, which is basically back air and a uh, nail up smash, like shield definitely beats all that. So you're just going to wait for them to misspace something on you. Like, like that. Alright, doing aerials. I'm 
really surprised that the down tilt actually beat out the back air. It's, it's possible that he might have low profiled the back air. And then because Fox is such a fast follow, he just like sank to the ground and got hit by the sword. Yeah, definitely. The down tilt also like slid slightly above. Like if you're like, oh, okay, managed to DIY of that. But Mr. E missing the punish right there. Oh S-Mash going to take it. Yeah, you have to be like Mr. Lee. Of course, he was a stock up. He could he af he could have afforded it to like make that kind of a commitment, though it's not gonna work out in his favor. Oh my God, beautiful jab block. That's gonna be the down tilt into the forward at 38 percent. But more importantly, Odyssey had the stage control until Mr. Lee went aggressively with a rising forward. Air. Beautiful pivot cancel left tilt. Great nair from Audi, but not so great. Yep. And I like Adi's use of the up tilt, just trying to outspace whatever Mystery wants to do. And honestly, I am not, uh, like, Adi is like multiple times already landed that F smash at ledge. Like, I feel like Mystic E could just throw out, like, a drop down neutral B to beat it out. Yeah, but he also has to get, like, the timing completely correct. So it's not as easy as it seems. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, he had it too. He was in the perfect position for yeah. it. He wasn't, he wasn't as confident. He hesitated a little bit too much, and as a result, he gave up stage. He just did it. He, he, didn't, even he didn't even react to that grab, man. Oh. I don't know why he burned his jump there. He, that, might, that was definitely a panicky recovery. Anyhow, amazing play to both of these players, but after he got two frame by that down tilt, he could have just like waited uh, a second. I, I don't think he thought he was going to die from it. 